I was once like you. Hello there, and today I'm here with the thrift haul. Finally, I'm very excited about this video because I know you guys loved my last thrift haul. So last week I went to my favorite location of Savers to look for some tacky Christmas jumpers and also to look for a dress for New Year's Eve. And I actually went there twice. I got so many things that I don't even know how I will show you everything, but I will try to be sure. Hopefully Hopefully we will be able to fit it all in less than half an hour video because nobody wants to watch half an hour thrift haul probably. I would probably watch that. I have uh, different types of things. I got some clothes, I got some bags. I actually got crazy with the bags this time. I don't know, they just had so many cool things. I also have some home decor. I'm gonna start with clothes now and move further. So let's get started. Here are two bags that I got and actually that's not even everything. So yeah, I'm very excited. I will start with the first bag, which was from the first visit of that savers. Ironically, I'm starting with the last item I got there. This is this flannel huge man shirt. I wanted flannel shirt for a super long time, was looking for it everywhere in each thrift store I went to, didn't find anything that I really loved. When I saw this one going to check out already, I was like, I don't even care what size it is, really. I love this pattern and this color so much that I just got it and it is like man's XXL and it's like so gigantic. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna wear it just like a jacket or if I'm gonna DIY it somehow, but I couldn't leave it there. It was $7, but I got a 50% discount that day. I think it was something connected with holidays. I also got a member's card. It was really successful and I was really happy about that. And I just almost dropped my Christmas tree with a flannel t-shirt. That's not good. The next item I got was this cardigan. I will make a try on as usual so you will see everything. It is a burgundy color. I like the knitting. It, it is not in perfect condition. It has some kind of this little things. Not too much, but yeah, could be better. But I still love it because it's super long. I'm actually really short. I think I mentioned this before. So this cardigan is like a dress for me and I just adore wearing cardigans like a dresses. I really like buttons. They look like candies. This was only $4 and with discount it was $2. So I think for $2 this cardigan is really awesome. The next item, why I'm always saying the same thing. The next thing I got there was again a cardigan. I don't know why I need so many cardigans, but I just can't stop. I actually loved the buttons here because they are brown and I think this combination of navy blue with this dark brown is really beautiful. It is in perfect condition and the brand is LL Bean. I'm not sure the right way to pronounce that, but just before going to the thrift store, I was in Mall of America in this exact store and everything there was so expensive. When I saw this in thrift store in the perfect condition, I was like, I need this. It's large. Also, it's made from cotton and 5% cashmere. So that explains why it is so soft, it's awesome. It also has pockets, which is a really nice thing for cardigans, I think. I always appreciate that. I got like a little bit oversized navy blue shirt with a print on it. I think they will look really beautiful together. I will try and maybe show it to you too. The next item was this sweatshirt or shirt or I'm not sure how you call this. Just a shirt, I think. With adorable, adorable rabbit and it says cute as a bunny. I really love the print and I love that it is like a cream color. Downside of this shirt is that it is uh, a little bit tight on me. I prefer to have some space in clothes. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it looks really, really awesome with the burgundy cardigan I just showed you. And that's how I'm planning to wear them. I love this sentence here, not just because of bunnies, but also 
It reminds me about Graveyard Girl. So I'm moving to the second bag right now. It has even more stuff there. First thing from the second bag is the only Christmas sweater that I liked in this thrift store because I looked through all of them. There was a separated aisle for tacky sweaters, but I really didn't like any of them. They were either too weird or too big. I really wanted to get an ugly sweater, but not that ugly. So <laughs> the only thing I found that I think I can call like a Christmas sweater, even though it was in the other place completely, is this big sweater with a kind of Christmassy ornament on the neck. I love that it is not just a bright red color, but burgundy again. I love that it has all these patterns. The brand was Christopher and Banks. It says that it is hand embroidered, so I think it's pretty awesome. And actually it was the first time I went to thrift store by my own using a bus. Now I know how to do that, so I'm definitely gonna go to thrift store every month and make you a thrift hose. So this sweater is really cool, even though it feels not super soft on the skin, but I'm usually wearing sweaters on t-shirts anyway, so it's totally fine with me. Definitely gonna wear it on a Christmas weekend. And the next thing I got, you might have seen in my previous video with gifts. So this is the sweater that I'm going to wear on Christmas dinner. I think even though it has a black color in it, it still looks pretty festive because of this gold details. It's the second video already with a thrift haul where I get a sweater with gold details in it. Uh, I actually started loving gold much more than before in my life. The special thing about this sweater is that it has 4% lamb's wool and 1% angora, so it's super duper warm and I think it looks really well on me, so I am really happy about this finding. The next thing I got is one of the best things I ever got, I think. When I saw it, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to style it or wear it or just do something with it. When I tried it on, it looked just so glorious. I hope you be able to see it in a try on video. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show all this beauty. The thing about me is that I can't really style skirts. I don't know why. It's just it's super difficult for me to feel comfortable in the skirt. It can look good, but I will feel uncomfortable and I will be like, no, I'm changing to jeans right now. <laughs> and I really was trying to get over this feeling and now when I saw this skirt, I'm so obsessed. Here it is. It's uh, super long. I won't be able to show you all the length. I mean, it's maxi skirt, but on my short height it's still fine because this thing is going on the waist. So it's just perfect length for me. It is a beautiful deep chocolate brown color with black leaves all over it. It is brand new, it had a tag from the other store on it, but I already took it off. Actually, I thought that it's silk, but it's not. I'm such a terrible person when it comes to fabrics. It's just a 100% polyester, but it still feels nice. It's not like really terrible, crazy polyester or anything like that. I'm planning to wear it on the New Year's Eve because I feel like a princess in it. I'm thinking to wear it with a black top and short uh, black jacket. I don't really have a short black jacket yet, so I'm gonna look for it. Or maybe I will invent some other things. It just has to be something plain black on the top because this skirt completes all the look by itself. Beautiful jewelry and plain black top. Yeah, and surprisingly the last clothing item I got here, I actually thought that there was something else, is another skirt, which I feel not that uh, happy about. I was walking with it all the time thinking that I'm gonna put it back, but I didn't. I decided to get it and this is how it looks. I really like these black things, but you can't really see them because it's not on my waist, it is on my hips and I close it with the top. I really like the color of the actual skirt 
it looks really beautiful this combination of beige and black the brand is called the limited i'm not sure if i know this brand i think i didn't hear about it maybe it's famous maybe not i don't know doesn't really matter for me it uh, looks like a brand new, feels like brand new too. It's not really super warm, I'm not sure what it is made of. I'm trying to find, but I don't think there is anything. I think it looks pretty good, uh, especially with the high boots that I have. Just wanted to have something like that in my wardrobe. And let's move to the bags right now, because there are three of them. <laughs> the first bag I got is this little one, brand Esprit, oh, I'm not sure how you call it, but this is a favorite brand of my mom and so I know it pretty well. Yes, color, I just saw this color and I was like, I need this. Guess what is inside? Oh yes, it's kind of like a wallet bag. So there is a place for photo, money, cards coins and just whatever you possibly need to take with you and I really wanted to have something like that because I saw my sister-in-law wearing her like little clutch thing everywhere and I think it's so much more comfortable when you are just going to a grocery store target something like that where you don't want to feel weight you don't need much, you just need some money and cards and that's it. I think it was the best finding from the first thrift store visiting I did. It's really cool. The next bag I got is actually uh, full of stuff right now because I can't stop taking it everywhere. It just feels super comfortable when I need more than just cards and money. This is how it looks like. It reminds me about kind of a postman bag. I don't know, maybe it's not really like it. It is again brand Relic. If you watched my first three haul video, you would know that I got another bag with this brand and I really like their bags. I don't know, They, I like the style they have. It's kind of like vintage ethnic or whatever, I don't know how to call it. I love this dark brown color, all this huge amount of pockets here. It's just so many different places to put things and there is a big one right here and I like this belt here. I just put it across my body and I don't need to hold anything in my hands because it's just like the worst nightmare for me. I love this bag. And the last baggy item I got is actually a backpack. I was actually looking for a backpack that I could wear with my coat because the only backpack I have right now is like absolutely different color from it and just doesn't fit at all. I think this one might fit, but it's like really tiny. It, it, it's not a disadvantage, it's just something really unusual for me. It is in perfect condition. I didn't find any brand tag, so I can't tell you who made this thing. I love these details here. They are really amazing. Color and all these things. I like that you can regulate that. It's really awesome. Even if I won't wear it now with my coat, I will definitely wear it in spring with like cardigans and in the uh, summer with different dresses because I just love having backpacks when it is warm outside. So the last things were for home decor. I don't remember if I mentioned or not, but I really wanted to make my living room more cozy. Now I really like how it looks. And I'm gonna show you a clip with blanket and two pillows I got from Savers. And they were all really cheap. It was uh, kind of like $10 all together. The blanket is really soft. It is actually a dress hold, you know, that brand they sell in Target. Pillows, I'm not sure what are the brand, but I think that they look so great together. I really loved choosing home decor stuff from thrift store and I will definitely keep doing that. Also, I got cups, obviously. I don't know if I ever can go to thrift store and not get cups. <laughs> I guess only if they don't have any of them. But when I saw this cup, for example, I just had to get it. I love uh, the color and the pattern. My favorite thing about it is that it is actually from Starbucks. It has Starbucks name right here. I always wanted to get a cup from Starbucks. It's like a 
childhood dream. I don't know why. I would come there and look at them and be like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool, but I don't really want to spend money on that. It's just such a nice finding to find such a beautiful... I've never seen a cup like that in Starbucks, so if I would see something like that, I would maybe even buy it. I don't know. I love that it is huge because I love huge cups. I need a lot of coffee, a lot of tea and whatever I'm drinking. And for 99 cents, even less with a discount, it's super cool. I'm obsessed with it. I also got this cup and it was just right there near this first one. I actually thought it might be a Starbucks too, but I didn't find any sign of the brand here, so I'm not sure. It looks pretty stylish and cool, and it is even bigger. Can't wait to put some cocoa in it with marshmallows and enjoy it in the evening. It also was the same price. I love it. And the last thing I got this time was this little pot, and you probably already know why I got it. <laughs> the color and also I really like this style. It looks like kind of leather thing. I don't really have any plants in my house except of artificial Christmas trees. When I saw this I decided that I will get an artificial flowers or something like that put here and it's gonna be a really cool decoration. At some point I will have to put away a tree from my background because Christmas and New Year will be over, sadly, don't want to think about that. And I will be able to put another plant in this beautiful pot there. Yeah, can't wait to find the right one. So these were all the things I got this time in the thrift store. I really hope you like them. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to put thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe, because if you like thrift hauls, they're gonna be on my channel all the time. I love thrifting so very much. I'm also making different kinds of videos if you want to check them out. Thank you so very much for watching. I feel great after talking to you. Bye! I was once like you